Um, one of the biggest shopping days of the year, but it's sadly also one of the most risky. Well, ahead of Black Friday next week, it's estimated that millions of shoppers will be targeted by scammers using fake deals to gain access to your finances. But how do you spot the fake deals from the real ones? Well, scam buster Alexis Conran is uh, here to tell us more. Um, thank you for coming in. There's quite thank a lot you. to get through here. Um, the Black Friday deals are not always what they seem. We can no. be quite easily manipulated here. No. Yes, you're right. Um, I mean, look, it's a well-known psychological ploy, right? I put you under pressure to make a decision quickly. It's a sales technique, OK? It's this deal's not going to last very long. Mm. You start ac acting on instinct rather than on intellect, and you start doing things like, what do I want and what do I need? And actually spending your money on things that you don't actually need or want only because you think you're getting yeah. a good deal. Yeah. Now, the other thing is, a lot of research has been done on Black Friday and about 90% of the items offered on Black Friday have been cheaper at other times mm. of the year. So we've got some examples here. So, for example, for a Fitbit Sense 2 smartwatch, it was 239 at the end of October. They raised that price to 269 at the start of November just so they can drop it down again next Friday That's so you annoying. think that you're getting a drop. But actually, you're paying £5 more than you would have paid in October had you bought it back then. And are you more likely to get scammed if you're buying something online or taking advantage of, let's say, than if you're going into a shop? Well, look, there is an enormous amount of money that's about to change hands next Friday. OK, last year, the British public spent £2.7 billion on Black Friday. 15 million of that went into the pockets of scammers. Mm. Wow. So you need to keep your wits about you. So what do you do? Right, use reputable websites. Mm. OK, go to the ones you know, go to the ones you trust. The new mm. ones that pop out, sometimes we've had copies of big ones, like Amazon. So this is the Amazon Black Friday page. It wasn't. It was a scam web page. So if new websites pop up, be suspicious. Now, here's a little tip. I've heard a lot of people say, um, oh, I know the website is trustworthy because there's a little padlock at the top. Mm, I've heard uh, that. Yeah, and I think we can, we've got a little, a little shot of a padlock. There, there we is, go. Yeah. It's that HTTPS, which is secure. Now, look, what that means is that the communication between your computer and that website is secure. No one's going to steal any details, passwords and personal information on the transfer. What it doesn't mean is that website is genuine, right? Oh. It does not mean the website. It's just saying that the communication between you and the website is secure. OK. That's it. What happens to your details when it gets to that website, we can't tell you that. Hmm. OK, that's not what the padlock tells you. All right. It's also not really what we've all been led to believe, because for quite some time we were all told it is a padlock. Have you got it? Safe. Yeah. Yes. Is it safe a... to shop through an app then? It can be safe to shop through an app. One thing I should say: if there's no padlock, then it's not safe. Do not use that website because that means that in that transfer of information, you can have your details okay. stolen. Right. So let, let's move on and see. Like, if you find something that you want, look at reviews. Okay. Now we all know fake reviews; mm. they're everywhere. What I tend to do is I tend to discard the really positive ones and the really negative ones and look somewhere in the middle. Use your common sense, mm. basically. But another good thing... I mean, look at that. Look, that, that whole 99% of the reviews are five out of five. I just... There is no product out there that can be that good. Right. OK? But the other good thing to do is go to other websites that sell the same product. Go to Argos, John Lewis, Amazon, you know, and start comparing the reviews of that product. So you're going to get a better, more rounded sense. That's a good idea. And also, if you're doing it on Amazon, they have a little uh, label saying verified um, buyer, mm. verified purchase. Mm. So at least you want to read a review from someone who's actually bought yeah. the thing mm. rather than someone who's just come and on that website. And also check the images as well, because people will go onto websites and, and if you stand back and look at the quality of the images on there, some of them will be blurred, blurred well exactly. taken. Another big thing, because a lot of people are, are doing a lot of their Black Friday shopping on marketplaces from social media, for example, uh, marketplace of Facebook. Mm -hmm. And even on Amazon and on eBay, you can be contacted by the seller asking you to make that purchase outside that platform. Don't do it. Mm. You're taking a risk. The moment you leave the platform that you found the product on and you do that transaction outside that platform, you're no longer covered by the rules and regulations of that platform. But I have to say, the biggest thing for me, and this is the biggest piece mm. of advice that I could give, is the way you pay. So... Bank transfers, out, I'm afraid. 
really, bank transfers are the most dangerous way right, to play. Okay. Because the, the money's gone from your account yeah. and getting it back can be quite tricky. Debit cards, not my favourite. Credit card is the way you should pay. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would say if you have a credit card, do make sure you pay it off at the end of the month. You don't want to be paying those extra Martin charges. Martin Lewis would shout, in full, at in the top of his voice. In full, Martin exactly. Him. However, what happens when you play with a, pay with a credit card? You are covered by what's called the S Section 75 of the uh, credit... Uh, what's it called? The Consumer Credit Act. Yeah. And that means that if your item's worth between £130,000, the credit card company is as liable as the retailer mm -hmm. to make sure that you are happy. Plus the fact, if your credit card details are stolen, they don't lead back to your savings accounts, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good point. What have you lost? Just okay. And also, think about it, it's not your money. Mm. When you're paying, it's not your money. It's the lender's money. So if there's a problem, that at the end of the month, you've got more, mm. more rights, if you like. So pay by credit card. This is one, the fake delivery text. I mean, this is yes. what I was saying to you, that, that I had you've the already same had that, thing yeah. and absolutely fell for it. I mean, at a certain point, I then went, no, this doesn't look right. But it, it, it caught me, for sure. Yeah, and look, you're going to see a rise in those at the moment. This is what they look like. Royal Mail, your package... And look at the amount, £2.99. A lot of people will think, well, I probably have a package coming. And yeah. £2.99 is not that lot of money. But as we've said before, this is the beginning of a much bigger scam. Mm -hmm. You pay £2.99, you get a phone call later, about two, two weeks down the line, from people pretending that they're your bank, and you say, do you remember that text message that you answered to? That was a scam. Mm -hmm. Now, all your money is at risk and we need to move it to a safe, a safe account. And that's how they get all your money. So beware. At, in the next two weeks, you're going to get a lot of these text messages. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of emails with Black Friday offers. Just keep your wits about you. Yeah. Go to reputable sites, places that you know and trust. Um, just uh, finally, going back to where we started, you found uh, found this deal. And I think this is you know, it's really important just to take on board. Last year, you found that a Samsung smart TV on AO was a... £1,999, down from £2,299, but it was cheaper 136 times after Black Friday, including £1,799 under a month later. It's oh not gosh. all it's cracked out to be. It really isn't. 90% of the products out there have been cheaper at other, other time. times of the year. So if you really want to look and get a bargain, target what you want, have an, an idea of the amount of money you're prepared to pay. Mm. If it hits that, buy it. Yeah. If it doesn't, don't buy it. Wait for a better opportunity. Watch your money and don't get scammed. Thank you.